Hello children. We're learning about John. John had a very, very important job to get people ready for Jesus. Hmm. John was out in the wilderness telling people, what did he tell them? Re Repent. Yes, he was telling them to change and become good. Lots of people came and he told them how to change. They wanted to know they wanted to become good. And when they wanted to get a new heart, a good heart, they had to go into the water and be baptized. That showed that when they were going in, they were going to go down under the water like they did. When people are dead, they usually get buried under the ground. And then you can't see them. So, during that baptism, people get put under the water like they're dead. But what it really means is they are dead to sin. When someone is dead, can they talk? No. When someone is dead, if I start hitting them, wake up, wake up, and I hit them hard, will they feel me? No, they're dead. They won't feel anything. Even if I smack them, they won't feel anything. I felt that because I'm alive. But if I was dead, I wouldn't feel that. I would be dead to feeling. I wouldn't be able to feel. So when you get baptized, when they put the person under the water, it's the, they are saying, I want to be dead to sin. So when sin says, hey, it's time to go and steal, will they steal? No, they won't hear. They will be dead. When sin says, mm -mm, I don't want you to share, you will say, mm -mm, selfishness. I can't feel selfish. I will share because you're dead to feelings of selfishness. You are dead to feelings of wanting to lie. When the devil tells you, you must tell a lie and you can't feel when the devil tells you to feel selfish. So the person goes under the water and they're dead to all the bad things and they wake up and they are new and clean. The water has washed away, wash, 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 all their sin. God has helped them. That is what God wants us to show when we get baptized. We go under the water and we're dead. And then we come up and we are new and clean. No more dirty sin. We are clean and fresh. And we have a new living heart from who? From Jesus. And you know, children, you don't have to wait to be baptized. You can get a good, clean heart now. It's never too early to ask Jesus to help you to be dead to sin. No, dead to selfishness and dead to lying and dead to anything else Mr. Satan tells you. So that's what the people were doing. They were coming to be baptized so they can wash, 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 and scrub away all the bad things and become good. Was Jesus bad or good? Jesus was good. Do you know? People, they thought maybe John was Jesus. They thought maybe John is the Messiah. He's so good. He never does anything unkind. And he keeps telling us to read our Bibles. Is he Jesus? So John said, the Savior is coming. I'm not the Savior. He is very, very good. I'm not as good as him. He will come. I baptize you in water. Jesus will come and he'll baptize you with the Holy Spirit. And you know, children, the Holy Spirit is what helps you to remember to be good. 
Satan will say, mm, I want you to go and steal Anna's pencil. The Holy Spirit reminds you and says, mm -mm -mm. Lily, remember Tiana, remember Tamika, remember you have a good, clean heart. You're not going to steal anymore. He who believes and is baptized will be saved, will be saved. But he who does not believe will be condemned. Mark 16 verse 16.